Although the Secret Service has cleared Ted Nugent after meeting with him regarding comments that were thought to be threatening to President Barack Obama, he has been taken off a bill on July 23rd, which he was to play for the U.S. troops. During a speech at a National Rifle Association convention April 14th in St. Louis, Nugent said that he would either be dead or in jail if Barack Obama was re-elected. In a 2010 interview with Artisan News, he had no love for Obama and actually thought it is a mirror as to how Americans in general have lost their souls. I mean, here we have a, a president of the United States with czars who will quote Mao Zedong and Karl Marx without flinching. We have members of the Obama administration that have been or are members of the Communist Party. Is this planet of the apes? Have we lost our souls? And the answer is yes, because we the people got comfortable, got lazy, we're worried more about what's on our pizza and TV than who is representing us in policy making and quality of life monitoring in elected office. In a clip previously aired, Nugent also said that the wreck of America is really the fault of both political parties. If you look at the train wreck that is America today, thanks to uh, criminal corruption in the United States government, both Republican and Democrat, uh, going back throughout my lifetime, it's gotten worse and worse and worse. Now, I thank God every day that we have Barack Obama as president because we've let so many rats into our house. It takes a rat as offensive, corrupt, and anti-American as Barack Obama to wake Americans up that they are rats and they need to be gotten rid of. So the apathy that has paralyzed America more and more every year of my 61 years is finally waking up out of the horror of apathy and disconnect and realizing what I have been screaming about for 40 plus years that the experiment in self-government includes me it includes you not just figuratively speaking but the experiment in self-government by all review and all historical evidence demands that each we the people participate and monitor constantly question prod and probe and demand accountability from our government. Meanwhile, the feds did tag Nugent with $10,000 in fines and he agreed to record a PSA for conservation after pleading guilty to transporting a black bear that he killed for his show, The Spirit of the Wild, in 2009. Apparently in Alaska, the law is that you get one chance to hunt a bear and if you wound one and don't kill it, your chance is over. After wounding one bear on a hunt, he killed another, probably unaware of the stipulation. Nugent's guilty plea was in exchange for the dropping of the charge from an illegal kill, or bag as it's termed, to illegal transportation.